Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. <laughs> Sorry guys, been a rough couple of days here. This weather's got my voice about shot. Uh, Today we're going to take a look at a beautiful 1972 Plymouth Cuda. This car is a recent documented nut and bolt restoration. Bought the car locally. Great car, guys. It's an original BS23 Cuda. Uh, factory D21 four-speed. It's got a 72 date coded 340 in it, but it is not a matching numbers car. A uh, ton of documentation. It's a factory white car. Um, Sorry, these trucks coming by, I'm making all this noise. It's, um, it's again, it's, it is a factory white car with a black vinyl interior. Um, a ton of documentation, it was just done. He said when he had the car restored, he had it all media blasted. Uh, I said there's no rust in the car, and it is. It's a good, solid, straight car, guys. I think he put new quarters on it, and I believe he put a new uh, trunk pan in it. But I think the rest of the body panels are original. Again, local guy. The only reason he sold it, guys, he is building, I got to see it, one of the coolest 57 Chevy two-door Pro Street wagons I've ever seen. Matter of fact, he bought the car. It's a chassis car. He bought it from Street Outlaws. And he's actually got a 70 Cuda, so he said he, he's going to let this one go. But it's really brand new. I think it's 240-some miles on it, guys. Great car. I like the white. And I'm not a big white guy, to be honest with you, but I like it on this car with the black hockey stripes and the, the torque thrust Ds. And this isn't just your average 340 car. This car rolls, guys. He said, it run, said it'll run 13s in the quarter. And he's got it set up to go. This car runs. You see, it's nice and straight down the sides. It's got Mickey Thompson ET streets on the rear. I think those are Cooper Cobras on the front. Of course, it's got the 15-inch uh, 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 torque thrust Ds all the way around it. Cuda rear balance. There's a couple little spots that you know were touched up, some th little things like that. But very, very nice car, car guys, and fun to drive. He said he only got, actually got it out to a couple of shows last year, and uh, that's really it. He said it's, it's barely got break-in miles on the car. Those are 275 60s on the rear. There's plenty of meat on the back. It's got the slotted and drilled uh, rotors on it, front disc brakes. It's all body color underneath. Does have frame ties. Again, this is a 72 date coated motor in it. Um, it's got a uh, 780 quick fuel four barrel in it. It's got the Edelbrock air grab intake. It's got a comp 540 lift cam uh, and lifters in it. It's got, those are actually Edelbrock aluminum heads. You just got them painted. Um, ATI super dampener, it's got TRW forged pistons in it, runs up pump gas, um, hooker headers. You can see he's got the newer style master cylinder and electronic ignition. It's got a complete aeromotive uh, 600 horsepower stealth fuel system in it. This is really cool. This is a uh, March 7 um, anodized aluminum radiator in it. Uh, with the catch, I mean, this is beautiful, man. It's got a catch can on it. That's all polished aluminum. Pistol grip, four-speed manual transmission. The front end, it's got uh, tubular upper uh, control arms on it. It's got a big uh, Hotchkiss uh, front sway bar on it. Um, and it's all new, guys. It's got March aluminum pulleys, and I've got some, uh, they, they changed it from a radio delete, so I've got some extra parts and stuff for it. You can see it's all body color in the fender wells. I'm telling you, that, that front end, 
I'll slide under here so you can see this. See, it's all new. Dual body color mirrors. Again, this is the original color combo. We're going to have to check the wipers. That was the one thing um, that wasn't working on it was the wipers in the fuel, the, uh, fuel gauge. But I think it's just a connection because he said the fuel gauge was definitely working on it. New sill plates, new carpet, bucket seats, he put the tough wheel on it, purse pistol grip shifter, Two forty-eight on the odometer. Speedo does work. He's got an aftermarket tack. I think he said he's got the uh, plug-in in the box back there. If you want to run the factory tack, he put the uh, that's a, that Cuda is a radio de delete plate. Factory radios uh, uh, in the box in the back, but he said it doesn't work. Uh, it's got uh, three-inch uh, X-pipe Flowmaster dual exhaust, um, eight and three-quarter with a. Um, Man, my memory here is getting bad. It's, it's an 8 and 3 quarter with a um, 373 Richmond Detroit uh, True Track Sure Grip rear end. It's got six way adjustable uh, uh, shocks on the back. What am I missing, Jay? These are, uh, you can see a lot of the little parts that he gave me. Um, uh, you know, some seat belts. Uh, that's the original radio. That thing in the white there, that's actually the uh, aluminum uh, march pulley. Uh, the bracket, all, all 372, 340s had a rear sway bar, so it's not going to put on there, but he's got the, uh, the plates that go on it. This is also all the receipts on everything. Everything he did, it's all in there, guys. It's all in there. Um, you can see he's kind of matte black. The trunk underneath here is actually an access panel for uh, the uh, fuel pump. So if you ever had a problem, it comes right out of top. That's it. That's right. It's got a stainless fuel tank on it. It's a cool car, man. It's a lot of money spent on it. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's right. It's got Mosier axles in it. I try to get all this stuff in the ad, man. I can't. We're trying to, as you can see, our weather's not the best. So we're trying to get stuff done before the rain comes. Um... Again, you can see it's all new underneath. Yeah, it's got Mosier uh, rear axles in it. Really nicely done. Seats are nice. That Nash is in good shape. Have Jay fired up. Again, healthy 340 man. You can hear that cam, it hits, I mean, it's just, just a good running small block Mopar, man. That's one thing you'll notice, it gets its R's quick, man. I'm going to have you pin up, I'll put it in a minute. Oh, wait, he doesn't have to come out. Try to pin that. Speedo does work, the aftermarket tack. Um, again, the, the fuel gauge will check on. It's got the other gauges mounted underneath there. Um, uh, we're also gonna have to check on the parking brake. I don't know if he's got it hooked up or not, but it's not working. Backup lights work. Tell you, man, this car's fun to drive, guys. 
There's no radio in it. I don't think he's even got, no. there's no heat on it, guys. He doesn't even have the heat hooked up, I don't think. Wipers will check. Again, I don't know if he hooked them up or not. It's so new, guys, 240 some miles on it. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Or you're always welcome. Pick up the phone, give us a call, 248 620 3355. That car sounds mean. I love the look of that car, man. That black hockey stripe. I love the wheels and tires on this car. Sits good. And like I say, fun car to drive. I'm going to turn Jay into a Mopar guy, man. Also, you can like us on Facebook. Matter of fact, I posted a picture of this car as I bought it yesterday. A lot of times you'll see the cars before they even hit my website. Holy mackerel, we got traffic today. Dog on it. 